Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we'll be comparing two high-performance SSDs for gaming and heavy-duty applications, the Samsung 980 Pro SSD and the WD Black One TBSN 770 SSD. Before we dive into the comparison, make sure to like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel for more tech reviews and comparisons. When it comes to pricing, the Samsung 980 Pro SSD is priced at $229, while the WD Black One TBSN 770 SSD is available for $129. Both offer excellent performance, but if you're looking for a more budget-friendly option, the WD Black SSD might be the right choice. In terms of performance, the Samsung 980 Pro SSD takes the lead with its PCIe 4.0 interface, which is twice as fast as PCIe 3.0 SSDs and 12 times faster than Samsung SATA SSDs. On the other hand, the WD Black SSD offers blazing speeds of up to 5150 MBS, ensuring fast load times and smooth gaming experiences. When it comes to storage capacity, the WD Black SSD offers capacities of up to 2 TB, giving you ample space for your games, updates, and downloadable content. Unfortunately, the Samsung 980 Pro SSD is only available in 1 TB and 2 TB options. Both SSDs address heat control, but the Samsung 980 Pro SSD stands out with its integrated heatsink. This heatsink helps maintain speed, power efficiency, and thermal control, preventing overheating on PlayStation 5 and PCs. The WD Black SSD does not come with an integrated heatsink. The Samsung 980 Pro SSD offers a two-month membership of the Adobe Creative Cloud Photography Plan, which is a great bonus for creative professionals. On the other hand, the WD Black SSD supports Microsoft's direct storage technology for faster load times in future games. To summarize, both the Samsung 980 Pro SSD and the WD Black One TBSN 770 SSD are excellent choices for gamers and those who require high-performance storage solutions, while the Samsung 980 Pro SSD offers superior thermal control and a valuable Adobe Creative Cloud bonus, the WD Black SSD provides impressive speeds and a more affordable price tag. Ultimately, the choice between these two SSDs depends on your specific needs and budget. Let us know in the comments which SSD you prefer. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting tech content. Thanks for watching.